We are actually in module 11 and we're talking about reports. We're all the way down to section 4 where I want to show you how to memorize a report. A memorized report is basically a report you've taken out of QuickBooks and you've customized it to make it an individual report that works for you. And then you can actually save it and they call that memorizing. And I want to show you how to do that and then how to go back and look at those memorized reports. I want to start by taking you to reports on the menu and showing you under the memorize reports where this list of reports will be. First of all, if I look at the memorize report list, these are all the memorize reports in QuickBooks. Notice they're underneath different categories. Now if I close this list and go back to reports and back to memorize reports, here are the categories that you just saw. And these are really the reports in those categories. You cannot change these categories. If you do not put a report in a category, it will just start listing them right down here and it becomes a big mess because nothing's organized. It's to your advantage to actually go ahead and organize them into a category. Let's go ahead and create a report and we'll put it in one of those categories. I want to actually create a customer balance detail report. That's under customers and receivables, customer balance detail. What I want to do on this report is just single out Tom Allen. I'll go ahead and customize the report. I'll use the filters option. Look under the filter for the name of Tom Allen. I'll also go to header and footer and I'll put Tom Allen in the report title. And then I'll go to fonts and numbers and we'll show the payments in bright red. Let's see what that looks like. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. If I happen to close this report, I will lose all of this that I just customized. I would like to save this and I'm going to do that by memorizing. The way you memorize a report is you click right here on Memorize. The first thing it asks you to do is give your report a name. I'm going to leave Tom Allen and I'll save it in a memorized group called Customers. I just want you to make note of this option. If you remember when we were talking about the report center and I showed you that there's a tab where you can actually look at other reports that people who joined the Intuit community have created and shared. Well, you could share yours as well by checking this box. I'm going to click OK and now that report is memorized. You cannot tell anywhere on the screen that this is memorized, but let's go and check out our reports on the menu to see. If we look under Memorize Reports, let's go to Customers, and there is Tom Allen. So Tom Allen's report is definitely memorized. Now let's take this one step further. Instead of me having to go to the menu and make three or four clicks there, wouldn't it be nice if I could add a button here that says Tom Allen, and I click and I pull up this report? Well, that is a feature that QuickBooks has. You can use this for any window not necessarily just reports. If you have the window open that you'd like to make a button for, all you do is go up to the View option. Notice it now says Add Tom Allen to the icon bar. All I have to do is choose the label, that would be the words that go underneath the button, and a description if I'd like, and then I can pick a picture. Once I do that, I click OK, and now I should have a button for Tom Allen, and I do right here. Let's go ahead and close this and see if it works. I'm going to click Tom Allen, and there's my report. Now one more thing. If you don't want the button at the end, you can actually move it around on that icon bar. If you go back to View, you do have an option to customize the icon bar. Here you'll see Tom Allen. I can grab the diamond to the left and drag it up wherever I'd like it in the list. If there's something on the list you don't want, all you have to do is select it and choose delete. And notice also you've got these spaces in here. You can actually add what's called a separator between groups of buttons. For example, if you can see there's one right here and there's one right here. That means anything in between those two is a grouping that they think belongs together. And that's really all you have to do. Go ahead and click OK and now that's how you memorize reports. 
Well, we're going to wrap up Module 11 now, which is the reporting module, and let's move over to Module 12 and talk about working with sales tax. Hey everyone, Ava here. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Click over there to get the complete course for QuickBooks 2019. And click over there to watch the complete set of QuickBooks 2019 videos in this playlist. We'll see you next week with additional videos.